Hello, all. welcome to Sivan CC PhD training in association with the MBIT Services and Technologies. In this recording, I would like to give more information on SD and MM integration part, whether it is in ECC or S4 or which remains the same. So majority of the people, they are having some doubts, though they know the SD part and MM part, and they are unable to explain during their interview processes. Whenever they face this question, like explain about the inter integration between SD and MM, or what are the integration points you know between SD and MM. So that time, though they know, they are unable to explain them in a right way. So for those people who have just uh, made this video, uh, they can easily understand and then they can put it in a proper way while attending these interviews and then while explaining the processes. So let us see the what are the important things which we must uh, see and then remember them and, and explain them during the interview processes. The overview of SD and MM integration. Normally, we all know that as an SD consultant, when we create a sales order, the entire line item information will be copied from material master data. Whether it is a single line item or multiple line items, all the line items information will be copied from the, the respective material master. And MRP, that materials requirement planning and availability check information also, which is considered from MM material master data. However, this data is controlled from SD side also. The shipping point determination, we all know that the delivering plant and the loading crew, which are considered from the, or which are the key factors from the material master data. Also, when we do the PGA, the goods movement takes place. Everyone knows about it. And all the movement types are configured by MM consultants normally. The taxes determination, revenue account determination happens when we create a sales order because of the backend settings done by the SD consultants. Let us see what all the things are there. SD and MM integration starts from enterprise structure. The plant and storage location, which are defined by the MM consultants, and hence the SD and MM integration starts from here. For plant, we assign the shipping point. We assign multiple shipping points to the plant, and we assign the plant to the sales line. For the intercompany sales perspectives, we as we have to assign the plant to the sales organization and distribution channel combination. Also, there it starts. Then during the enterprise structure definition and assignment part. Availability check, batch, the plant uh, material group, all these factors also, we will include them in the material master data. We, we have, uh, when we create the material master data in the practice system, we all see this. These are all the important key fields. Cash discount will be always activated. And we maintain values in the account assignment group of material master data. It is one of the key factors in determining the revenue account determination. We also maintain the value in the tax classification of the material master data, which is one of the key factors in determining the tax determination. The similar way in the sales general plant view, where there is a transportation group, which is one of the key factors in determining the route determination. Loading group, we all know that, which is one of the key factors in determining the shipping point determination. The quantity or value updation. So whenever it is not in place, which is not activated by the MM consultants, definitely the system will not allow us to do the stock postings. So though we don't do the stock postings during the implementation processes, whether it is a quality system or a development system, we will be having authorization to do the stock postings. However, these settings are not activated means then definitely we will have to inform the MM consultant because it requires some transport request. If they are not activated for the particular plant and the material type, then definitely they will activate from their end and then they will move the transport from one system to another system and which system you are doing the testing so that we can do that. So that is why here also we integrate with MM consultants. And the PGA, cost of goods sold, cost, Cox account and material document are triggered or generated based on the movement type 601. We will see in detail in the upcoming slides. The third party sales and individual purchasing order, both for both of the processes, we have to have the values in the purchasing view of the material master data. 
the movement types which are associated with the schedule lines for third party individual purchase order and STOs are different. And item categories like for third party TAS, individual purchase order TAB, and NLC for the STO processes. Item category group we have seen, uh, most of us know the item category group is BANS, third party sales, BANC for IPO, individual purchase order. So these are all the things we have to keep them in our mind when we are explaining about the integration part of SDMM or SDFI, whatever it is. And in, in more importantly, scheduling categories, CS, third party, CB, inter, uh, individual purchase order, NC, intercompany replenishment, and NN replenishment without MRP. So I have mentioned repeatedly the uh, item categories or the values, the transaction codes. Why? Because seeing is believing you people will register these points in your mind, the important points. So that is why I used to write repeatedly uh, to make you people very easy and then make your job very easy while explaining during your interview processes. SD and MM integration, the process steps, especially in the order to cash, where exactly we meet together. VA01, the moment we create a sales order, all the line item information copied from material master data, the route, shipping point, batch determination, availability check determination, schedule lines, category determination will happen. And VL01 end transaction, when we try to create a delivery creation, and when we click on the PGI, that is post goods issue. When all the settings are in place, then the system will generate two documents after the PGA. One is cost of goods sold account, that is financial document, which is a part of MM site, and material document, material, material document that is from uh, MM site again. MM, uh, 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 it is like um, MB03. And also, while doing the STO processes, maybe the stock transfer between two plants or two storage locations in a same company code or different company codes, intercompany company STO or intra-company STO. We do the VL10B that is purchase or cost display inbound delivery. So replenishment delivery, we will do that. So where we integrate with MM consultants, MM team. So the process step again in the order to cash. So when we click on post goods issue, the movement type 601 will be triggered. That is goods issue delivery. And the Cox cost of goods sold account will be debited, and inventory finished good uh, inventory of finished goods account is credited. And the accounting document we can see them in the MB03 transaction, and yet material document we can see it in MB03 transaction. Also, we we notice that the stock reduction happens in the inventory. So we will be we all SD consultants or OTC consultants will be having access to MMBE transaction, though it belongs to MM, materials management, so the integration. Here, one more point I would like to highlight. We cannot stop the triggering of 601 movement type while doing the PGI. Once all the settings are in place and the consultant, the moment he clicks on the PGI button, then it will automatically create two documents. Cost of goods sold account, and inventory, uh, inventory uh, that is material document, accounting document and material document. However, that, that is not possible to stop immediately. However, we can reverse or cancel the delivery using the VA09 transaction. That is nothing but reversal of PGA or goods movement. And in fact, during the testing phase in the implementation process, we have to prepare the end-to-end -end process like sales order, delivery and billing the similar way, building cancellation, delivering cancellation, and then the sales order cancellation. Reversal documents also we have to prepare one document and then share it across the uh, stakeholders. This is what we have to follow. Few important transaction codes, which we all know that. However, I, I just wanted to um, repeat them again. MMB, stock overview, MM60, materials list, MMPV, posting periods. MB1C stock postings, which is now obsolete in ECC and will be used in MIGO transaction to do the stock postings. 
we all know mm01 create material master mm02 change and mm03 display so the these transaction codes we will be having access in the development system and quality systems when we are doing testings integration testings we all will be having access some of the clients mm -hmm. In quality system, they won't provide us the authorizations to these transaction codes, some of these transaction codes. Then we have to request them, take the transaction code and then access to that particular transaction code and then check. That is what our job is in real time. So ME51 to create purchase order with reference to purchase requisition. There are two types, ME21N also we can use in third party sales to create purchase order with reference to purchase requisition. At the similar way, even in uh, individual purchase order also where the purchase equation is generated. The base is the schedule lines. M11 purchase info record and M01 source list to determine the vendor. Few important tables in material master data and SDMM integration part. Mara general master material master data we can see. RC plant data or for material. MERD storage location data for material. MARM units of measure for material, MVKE sales data for material, MSEC document segment material, MKPF header material document. So these are the ECC uh, tables which are already there in the system, in ECC system. Whereas it come, when it comes to the question of S4 HANA, there is only one mid, a table which is available in S4 HANA. All the above tables are obsolete. Even if you type them, it will not take you to that screen. It will direct you to the MAT doc material document table where everything, all the field values are available, which are related to MARA, MRC, MRT, MRM, MVKE, and MSEG, MKPF also. Hence, in S4 HANA, please remember that we are going to use only MAT doc table. Even if you type by mistakenly the SC16N MVKE table, it will not give you any information. If the system says that this table is obsolete and then go to Matoc material document table. So thank you all. Have a nice day.